Hello, everybody. This is Pastor Dean, and this is Five Mesmerizing Minutes. God gave you an imagination. He gave you a memory, too. Memory replays the past, but your imagination preplays the future. Let me read something to you about imagination. In Genesis chapter 11, it tells you the story of the Tower of Babel. At one time, the whole world spoke a single language and used the same words. As the people migrated eastward, they found a plain in the land of Babylonia and settled there. They began to talk about construction projects. Come, they said. Let's make great piles of burnt brick and collect natural asphalt to use as mortar. Let's build a great city with a tower that reaches to the skies, a monument to our greatness. This will bring us together and keep us from scattering all over the world. Well, The Tower of Babel was most likely a uh, a ziggurat, or a ziggurat. Uh, It it was a common structure to uh, Babylonia at that time, And, and, and they were often used as temples, and ziggurats looked like uh, pyramids. And they had steps and and ramps leading up the sides. I I wouldn't be surprised if they were extremely artistic with the decoration. Ziggurats stood as high as 300 feet, according to one of my Bibles, and were often just as wide. So they were the focal point of the city. The people in this story built their tower as a monument to their greatness, something for the whole world to see. Now, the Lord came down to see the city and the tower the people were building. That's verse 5, 11, Genesis 11, 5. And the, and, and the Lord said, look, If they can accomplish this when they have just begun to take advantage of their common language with political unity, just think of what they will do later. Nothing will be impossible for them. Come, let's go down and give them different languages. Then they won't be able to understand each other. In that way, the Lord scattered them all over the earth, and that ended the building of the city. That is why the city was called Babel, because it was there that the Lord confused the people by giving them many languages, thus scattering them across the earth. Now, the Tower of Babel was a a great human achievement, It was a wonder of the world. But it was a monument to the people, to the people themselves rather than to God. And you see, we have a tendency as human beings to build monuments to ourselves. Rich people have expensive clothes and big houses and fancy cars and important jobs. And these may not be, they're not, it's not wrong to have those things. But when we use those things to give us identity and self-worth and importance, they take God's place in our lives. We are free to develop in many areas, my friend. But we are not free 
to think we have replaced God with things. What towers have you built in your life recently? This is Pastor Dean, and this is Five Mesmerizing Minutes.